Well, as you all know, YouTube, Trev here, Summit or Nothing, back out tonight camping on Dartmoor. I've got a bit of company tonight. Who's this? Say who you are. Uh, Cohen. Cohen, my son. He's a middle child, so I apologise in advance. He said, what are you doing this weekend, Dad? I said, I'm going camping. He said, can I come? So how can I turn him down? Summit on a bike. Next generation. So we've been out today and bought him some new boots. These little boots we bought today. How much are they coming? Uh, £10. £10, yeah, yeah. Sorry. £10, I knew that. Loaded him up a backpack. Very heavy. Very heavy. And we're going to go and have a camp up here. I'll let Cohen tell you where we're going. So we are just there. Yeah, that car park. We need to go all the way up to Middle Staple Tour. Yeah. They're yeah, actually Great Staple Tour. Yeah. That's where we're going to go. We we're going to camp there. You said about Ruse Tour, didn't you? Yeah, we're going to go and look at it. Let's go then, shall we? Up yeah. here. If that's Great Staple up ahead of us, Cohen, yeah. which is northeast, we said, wasn't it, on the map? Yeah. So what's that one over there? Have a look at the map and see if you can tell. Um, that's Cockstool. Cockstool, that's right. I was just looking at that tour over there, looks interesting, doesn't it? I don't know what one that is. Uh, this tour over here looks interesting as well. I don't know what these ones are. We haven't got a map big enough to find out. We've done this area. This will be the third time I've been up here, but I said to Cohen, where do you want to camp? And what did you say, Cohen? Cockstool. Right, straight off the bat. But uh, we'll see how we feel when we get our great staple because he's got quite a lot of weight on his back for a little fella really hopefully we've got enough layers because it's been really hot but actually now we're up here it's the coldest i've been for a long time we're in the lantern i bought a down sleeping bag and i also picked up a down sleeping bag that was damaged the zip don't work like you can have a second layer over him if you wanted or we can have a layer under us so it's just giving us options and then i've got my mountain warehouse summer bag so hopefully we're going to be warm enough Catch your breath. Yeah, very heavy. Here we are now. What's this? Middle Staple Tour. That's right. Still got the map. Good lad. You ain't lost us yet. Yeah, I can't really look at it because the wind's blowing. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Fogging tour behind it, and there's North Hessery tour with the mast. There's great staple over there. See, not that far, is it? There you go, Gappy. Gappy. one of the most clumsy children you'll ever meet. Right, don't go near the edge. Don't go near the edge. Gives me a heart attack. <laughs> no, just stay where you are. Sit down, please. Go, yeah. oh, just sit down. <laughs> he's jumping around up there. Gives me a heart attack. And then when I'm not looking, he's ah, screaming like he's falling. Oh, he's then laughs when I panic. 
So we have a middle staple tour there. Yeah. So we're just about to go up to a great staple tour. And what direction is that? Can you remember? Um. Northeast. That's right. And then we might go up to Bristol today, or maybe not tomorrow. Yeah. over there behind that rock. Think we can make it over there? Uh, no. I don't really want to walk up to a roost store though. We'll do that tomorrow though. We'll do it tomorrow? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. It's only there. Uh, I'll do it tomorrow. You want to camp up here? Yeah. Or should we find somewhere to pitch then? Somewhere out the wind? everyone what just happened <laughs> so I was walking up to dad and the lace I went up to here got tied up and then I fell up fell over and, and my rucksack was like that <laughs> and then I almost did a roly poly <laughs> stay into a rock and then dad wasn't filming which was a shame so I, now I have to tell you <laughs> Yeah, well this is why I don't want you running around up on the rocks I with them boots. No, Mum's when you... Mum's was the one who tied it. Right, I'll sort your laces out. Okay, let's take them off. Let's get the lantern set up, shall we, Cohen? Yeah. Here, Cohen, perfect spot. Yeah, I'm going to have to get the lantern set up. Yeah, I'm going to have to get the lantern set up. It's made for it, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so putting the lantern up. The last time I used the lantern, I was at, um, on the coast. Didn't realise it was wet. I haven't aired it and it absolutely stinks. So it's going to be a smelly night. Oh dear. I feel like a Batman villain. Wait, turn it up the right way. My viewers don't want to watch crooked shots. <laughs> anyway, so we've got the lantern up, Cohen. That's our home for the night. How does that make you feel? I miss my home. <laughs> <laughs> so we get all our stuff in there in a minute and make it cosy. Thinking there, mate? Good. Yeah. Yours is the far side. Oh, I can have a chocolate bar. No, because we're going to have a dinner now. Where That's for pudding. That's for pudding. Okay. Do you want your dinner now? Shall I start cooking? Yeah, what's the dinner? You got your pasta sauce you wanted. Are you going to cook it on that tranger? Dad, have That's you... the stove. Can we shut off it? Go on then. Dad, I love it! You can do it with me. Yeah. Thank you. Shut it on nothing! I 
say nothing. You do say nothing. There's no k on the end of it, mate. Should we get tea cooking? Yeah, get tea cooking. Can't wait for the chocolate bar for pudding. <laughs> so what's this all about? This is for cooking. Stops the wind. Now what's the water we milk for? This is... Yeah. Basically, you need water and milk in here, Mummy noticed. So she put exactly the right amount of water and milk in there. Cohen's having a little bachelor's. Milky cheese and pancetta. Right, that is fuel for here. Flammable fuel. Ooh. Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> so we got my hand. Yes, probably sheep <gasps> I didn't swear to my child. Well, you're going to put this beep over it, aren't you? Always. Well, you already have. <laughs> sort of. Ready? Can I do it? No. <gasps> And this here is what you govern the heat with. Big flame, little flame. Big flame, little flame. Okay. So that's more water and milk. Right, we'll put that on there. We had a ton of bubbles. There will be in a minute. Yeah, so we was gonna camp on Roos Tour, but there's someone over there, so good job we didn't. But look at this sky. I was doing a time lapse, but it went out of focus, but that sky is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that is a mast. A mast? What's a mast? Like an aerial. Is it like my favourite princess? Aerial! <laughs> <laughs> the Trandra is not really getting up to heat. It's taken a little while to boil. I suppose it's because there's so much liquid in there. Bought the thing in tighter. Hang on. Try and keep the wind out because it's going fair, isn't it? Look at that. Now, give it a stir. Oh, I think it's about ready for you, mate. Have a look. Okay. Look all right. Wait, wait, wait. Shall I try one? Try it, try it. Is it hot? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Mm. Right, I'll take that off there. I'll close that up. Let that cool down. Right, so the little man's being fed. That took so long to cook his tea, and I'm letting him eat out the pot, so I've got to wait for mine. But hopefully he won't eat all his, and then I'll just eat some out of his. Ah, oh, it's getting about nine o'clock now. It is quite cold tonight, so hopefully we're going to be warm enough in the lantern, because it isn't the warmest tent. I've not been this cold out for a little while, and I brought me boy with me, so got to make sure he keeps warm. We did bring his thermals, or as he likes to call them, his ninja suit. So he's eating now. Let's go see how he's doing. How you doing, Kane? Nice. I'm Once you bet that, then we'll get you in the tent and we'll stick a film on for you. Well, Dad, did you get my book at the end? You got your book, yeah? Nice. You can read your book. Doing some reading. So, the lantern hasn't been out in any wind or rain. I don't think it's going to rain tonight, but it's, it it's, it's gusty already. It might do, yeah, it might do. But, you know, we'll see what happens with the lantern tonight. I'm almost dead. Have you? You almost ate all? Uh-huh. Well, what am I going to eat then? You have as well. This is good. Hey guys, I'm just oh. heading to bed. That's going to come later. I've got to do the washing up. I'm going to make us hot chocolate tonight. Yeah. Bye bye. See you in a bit. Have a lovely bed. Come out on the camera. 
changed my headlamp now, so I had a really uh, close encounter with the fox. He come right up here, sniffing around here. He was. He's, I know what it is. It's where Coenette is. Cheese. You can smell it. I reckon. But I've watched these two little eyes just coming in across here. But the other headlamp is no good. I've got my uh, expensive one on now, which I wish I had a minute ago. I've got a nice little footage of a fox. You having a disco in there? What? Are you having a disco in there? No. Oh no. It's falling down. I know. You warm enough, buddy? Yeah. It's very cold though. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a time and a place for a jet ball, and tonight was probably that night. I've spent like three hours cooking. One meal, I haven't even had my meal. I've done his hot chocolate and now I'm just having hot chocolate because it's like bedtime, it's like 11 o'clock. <laughs> the bloody thing run out again. I'm stood out here in the cold waiting. Yeah, I should have bought a jet ball tonight. I'd have, we'd have both eaten, we'd both be settling down by now, you know. Change is all right when you've got a bit more time, but it was an evening hike, wasn't it, you know. We didn't get up here till sort of eight-ish. Well, we're in the tent. Finally got my hot chocolate. See, that's proof. And uh, now we've just got to get it warm in here. It's a bit pokey in here this time, because uh, it's two of us. So I've got nowhere to really put my bag and that. So it's going to be a bit fun in here tonight. See how it goes. What he's got is me self-inflating mat. Self-inflating mountain warehouse mat. I'm on the firmer vest because I didn't want him to carry anything too heavy, so I bought that one. I hate that one, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, firmer vest, ridge vest. Then he's got my mountain warehouse sleeping bag, which he's only half in. Then he's got down sleeping bag, that's the broken one with a broken zip that I picked up for a really cheap one. I thought it couldn't hurt to buy a broken one because um, when I do hammocking, it can, act, it can act as a layer of insulation underneath. I've got a hammock, just haven't used it yet. But, but, we will. Now we really are in bed, aren't we? Okay, yeah. <sighs> How'd you find it in here, all right? Yeah, it's good. When yeah. I first looked at it from the outside, it looks really small. Now I looked at it, it looks ginormous. What, from inside? Yeah, it's like a TARDIS. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, good night YouTube. Say good night YouTube. Good night YouTube. We'll see you in the morning. Hopefully there's no nothing to report. I we just sleep really well. Lane's in there. We didn't bring any waterproofs because the forecast said it was going to be dry and sunny today. <laughs> today was the better day. Little man, look. Well, I was going to say it stopped raining, but it sounds like it's just about to start again. Try to just do some water. It's gone out again. <laughs> look who's up. It's me. You sleep right? Yeah. So we've missed the sunrise. Stupid birds. Yeah, they didn't. We didn't get the dawn chorus this morning, did we? No. So hot chocolate. Yeah. Good idea. I'm just doing them now. Right, we're up. One of us has had hot chocolate. But we're going to go and have a walk over to Roo's tour now. Yeah. Well, I think there's someone camping, wasn't there, last night? So we better be quiet in case they're still asleep.
up at the top of Rue's Tour. Yep. This is where you wanted to come. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Yeah. Which is your favourite out of Rue's Tour and great staple? Rue's Tour is kind of cool. I think I like great staple Yeah. We can't see the camper or whoever was up here. I saw someone here last night where they got up early and set off on their journeys. I think, see that tour over there? It's like a big boulder. I think that's Ingra Tour. It's like a big steep hill. I think me and Nick have done them two tours. So here we go, heading back over now to Great Staple Tour from Roos. So just a little jaunt over here, Cohen wanted to see this tour, I don't know why it popped in his head but he said he wanted to see Roos tour. Careful, careful, little nutcase, it's been great to be out with Cohen today, he's enjoyed it. It's really sparked a sense of adventure because last year he wanted to come out with me and then this year as this sort of we come into the spring summer he wasn't interested, didn't want to. So. It's nice to have you back out, Cohen. You enjoyed it? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favourite bit? I've enjoyed climbing the rocks and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a very good climber, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Oh yeah, ponies. They can't see us. We don't eat my bag. No, don't go to touch them because they're wild. Okay. Yeah, just keep them away. Uh oh, sweets. He's trying the sweets. Come on, out the way. No. Oh, he's eating my bag. <laughs> oi, oi. Get off. Get off. <laughs> Not your bag. Bye bye, horsey. We've got to go now. Oi. He's got tears. Is he crying because we're going? Yeah. Watch out, one. He's going to eat you. I'm scared of him. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. That was camping up on Great Staple Tour yep. with my little mate. There he is. It's at the end, yeah. Oh wow, Cohen, look at that big rainbow across the sky there, look. Oh my god. You see it? You've got to take a shot of this. You know what that means? What? It means it's raining. <laughs> we better move. So that was Summit or Nothing. Wild camping on Dartmoor. Next generation. Tell me or nothing, the next generation, Wait. sorry. Yeah, it's good, wasn't it, Cone? Mm, yeah, table. nice to have a bit of company. So, thank you ever so much for watching. You know what you can do. If you enjoyed that video, you can... Subscribe, like. He knows. And uh, we will see you again soon. Say bye, Cone. Bye. See you later. Cheers. <laughs>